Hi, I'm going to quickly walk you through how to adjust and set your preferences on Google Docs. So as a teacher, the first thing you need to do is sign into your Gmail and then open any document that's been shared with you. And at the top of that document, you're going to select tools. You're going to go to preferences and you're going to see the list of preferences that Google already has set up for you. So if you type any of these things, automatically they will become this because they've already been created, these kind of shortcuts. And at the very bottom, you're gonna see shortcuts that I've actually added, which have made my life as an English teacher grading so much easier. So these are the kinds of comments that I used to write um, in shorthand on essays as I would grade. So I would underline something with a question mark and students knew that meant it was unclear. Now I just put a question mark and press return and automatically this bracketed phrase that says unclear pops up. Same thing with AWK. Often if something's a little awkward, I'll put AWK and now when I do that, it automatically says awkward reword for clarity or rework for clarity. And you'll notice that my comments are in brackets because they're gonna pop up right in the text. Um, once you've created your preferences on one, like opening one doc and creating it, it will be set for all of the documents that you're editing with that particular Gmail account. So you can always add to these too. So if I wanted to say P-U-N-C, and this is gonna just be short for punctuation errors. So it would be short for punctuation error, please correct, and I will put it in brackets so it's gonna visually stand out to my students um, because it's not gonna pop up in a different font or a highlighted, I wanna make sure that they can visually see it. And then once you've added whatever shortcuts make sense for you and what you're grading, you can click OK. And you can adjust them at any time and change them just by going back to tools, opening your preferences, and editing them. So as I'm going through students' work, and I'm reading it, if I see, oh, people's lives, this should be possessive, I want to make a note about this punctuation error, I'd write P-U-N-C, enter, and it says punctuation error, please correct. Mm -hmm. I continue writing, and, and again, you can combine these with side comments and say, please use italics and leave those there. So a combination of shortcuts and preferences can be really handy. And then as I'm scrolling down, okay, this last name should be capitalized. So that's capitalization error. So C-A-P, enter, capitalization error. And that will immediately add that note for me. And I can go through and read. And, you know, if something sounds, you know, this sounds a little bit awkward. I'm going to say A-W-K, enter, awkward, rework for clarity. So as I'm reading through an essay or an assignment, if I have these preferences, for the kinds of corrections that I know students typically need, it will just save me time as I'm going through and editing. And what I kind of like is it's always evident who's really done a close reading and revision um, by what has been removed and what has been improved upon. So sometimes if students have done a real um, kind of skimmed their work and done just a few edits, you'll find some of these in text and have a sense of, oh, the student didn't spend very much time editing this essay um, because they really have to look for the comments in text.